flap. Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's a real man. Look at that. Look at the size of this guy. He could kick anybody's ass. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. He could beat up Mike Tyson. I'm safe here in my little cubbyhole. You guys are in trouble. (laughs) Look at you, man. You're bad. Damn, you're a tough guy. Jesus. I would never say anything. Oh, my God. Look Look at the size of this guy. How big he is. (laughs) What do you got there? A leather coat with fire all over it? I got to get one of those. Now, is that what your arms are supposed to look like when you uh, wear one of those shirts? (laughs) Yeah, how come when I work out, my arms don't look like that? (laughs) How you doing, Chuck? Nice to meet you. Good, buddy. How are you? And Chuck, by the way, drove you in. Remember you came in on a motorcycle for your book party? Yeah. Was was that you? That was me. That was Chuck. (laughs) That was me. (laughs) One of the guys, anyway. And Chuck, man, you are the man. (laughs) Oh, man. You're the man. man. Jesus, you big slap. Jean-Claude Van Damme, let's go through the whole story. What were you doing at Scores that night? Well, last year I went there to see some friends and I had dinner there. They cool. actually have good food there. They That's do. What I hear. They it's really weird. Scores has good food. People keep looking at me and say, yeah, right, you go there for the food. I do go there for the food. Well, you go there too to look at the girls, but hey, well, get closer yeah. to the microphone, Chuck. Okay. Just pick it up a little. All right, there. Cool. There you go. You wouldn't take a date there, would you, Chuck? <laughs> No, uh, no, I don't think so. You ever take broads there and bang them in the in the in the scores yeah, yeah. while you're looking at naked chicks? Uh, you, no, no. Because I'm telling you, man, this is the guy I would like to be. I would like to be one of the heads of the Hell's Angels. Oh, really? Yeah, I would how like to be. be the head I would of like the to. Yeah, how do you get to be, be the, a pretty tough guy? Yeah, I got a ton of questions, man. I guess you do. And if I piss you off in any way, just let me know and I'll, I'll take Get it all Fred. back. Oh, <laughs> <real close. laughs> yeah. be plexiglass, but there isn't. So, because you gotta have balls to bitch slap uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Because you know, with all that karate hype and everything, you figure, yeah, but man, you don't insult a Hell's Angel. You know that. No, oh no, I would never do that. Well, <laughs> you're still one of the heads of the Hell's Angels. You know, it doesn't have anything to do with Hell's Angels or anything. If, if you're a man, you're not going to take any abuse from anybody. Right, well, wait, let's back up. This Hell's is cool, Angels. man. Because I'm not a real man. I would have backed down. Let me let me have what a real man does. You go to scores, right? And yeah. you're there by yourself. Yeah. Okay, you're hanging out and you're eating. First yeah. of all, that's manly, just being at scores by yourself and eating. Cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I usually have to go with an entourage. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I need, like, buddies. Even there, you need people with you. So you just went there yourself? Yeah. And what do you do? You pull up on a motorcycle? Uh, sometimes, but uh, I happen to have my car that night. Okay, what kind of car you got? IROC? So, uh, no, I just oh, yeah. drive a uh, old uh, Grand Marquis. Uh, hey, seven, but it's in good shape. Gary, go out and buy me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Write all this down. Yeah. What real men do. <laughs> yeah, because, man, I'm such a pussy. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, anyway, see, that's anyway. what's good about being famous. You get to hang out with real men. Oh, okay. I know what I'm saying? All right. You should have the Batmobile. <laughs> I'd love to. I had a chance to buy it years ago, the original one. Okay, so, anyway, you go to scores. Yeah. And you're looking at some naked broads. Mm. Having a few well, cocktails or what? Actually, where, where, where the uh, restaurant is, you could just see one of the stages. Right. Oh, little, so you're not little, even, like, near the girls. It's a little girls. secluded, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Like, you don't even bother looking at the That's girls. Right. You're actually you there to eat. the girls. Yeah. What were you eating? Uh, filet mignon. No kidding. Oh, yeah. Man, you eat red meat, right, oh, man? Cool. Yeah. You don't even waste time. Yeah, don't that. even cook it, right? <laughs> you'll, beat, you'll beat a vegetarian's ass if he even bothers you about <laughs> it, right? Yeah. Right. If a man walks up to you and goes, hey, don't eat that meat. That's bad for you. It's, you just kick uh, his ass, right? No, Booyah. I that too, I mean. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> All right, so let me let me understand something. So then, like you're sitting there minding your own business, eating right. a steak. Eating a steak. All right. You go to the can to what? Take a leak? No, I didn't I didn't go there. Uh, I was Jean there eating. Claude and, was and, and, oh, Jean-Claude went to take a leak. Did you see Jean-Claude? Because your friend, you actually bodyguarded him or something, right? Yes, I did. You did? Years back, yeah. You figured the guy's a nice guy. He's a friend of yours. Well, yeah, but he uh, seemed the bigger he got, the... Uh, Bigger swelled head he got, so. Now, how do you like these guys who get famous and then they get a swelled head? Yeah. You know, they, they got to be put in their place. Well, yeah. If you ask me. Well, it's a shame when uh, you have all these friends coming up and then when you get big. Uh, yeah. Suddenly. Forget about you, everybody. Huh? Yeah. yeah, they don't know so. you. So you saw uh, Van Damme walk in with uh, Mickey Rourke, who's another buddy of yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know those guys. Yeah. All right. So they go in and they're sitting there, they're partying and stuff. Well, what happened was, uh, like I said, I was having dinner, and uh, Mickey Rourke came with, with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme and maybe uh, four other guys. Right. And uh, Mickey Mickey heard I was there, so he sent word to, uh, through one of the bouncers there, so to come up and say hello. Right. So I said, all right, when I'm finished uh, having my dinner, I'll come say hello. Right. So that's what happened. 
That's cool. Like, you don't even rush over to the table like some girl. You don't leave no, your food. No, no, right. No. You don't leave your food. You have a nice <laughs> no, meal, and you'll, you'll get to Mickey Rock when you can get to him, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, hey, hey, F Mickey Rock, man. I'll be there when I'm done with my steak, you dumb bastards. <laughs> oh, he's cool. Yeah, That's cool, good. Man. That's good. No, I like that. Yeah. All right, so, so uh, that was nice, man. Invited you over to the table. Show respect. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I came over to break bread, I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I went over there to say hello, and uh, I haven't seen Sean Claude in a long time. Right. In fact, the last time I saw him was in... What kind of name is Jean? That's like a girl's name. St. Bart. Yeah. <laughs> you saw know. Jean the last time you saw him was in St. Bart? St. Bart, yeah. And was he wear a thong out there or something? Well, I wasn't really looking, you know. Right, yeah. So, uh... Oh, and I just went over to say hello and said hello to Mickey, said hello to Jean-Claude, and he just was a little... Wasn't the gracious host that uh, Jean Claude? Yeah. But what did Jean Claude? Because he disrespected you. You see, I'm such a pussy. I didn't even know you that. You wouldn't he was have di- even known you were disrespected. Yeah, he said something like, uh, "You." What did he say, Jean Claude, to you? What did he say? And then he just gets right in my face and he says, "Because you're full of shit." Oh. Right, well, let me believe that. It's a tangled web out there. In 1998, there are 45 million people on the web. Now grab your keyboard and hang on to your mouse because E's going to interface with the women of the net. Women are definitely having a big impact on the internet. From experts. I have done everything on the site myself. To X-rated. I think the more nudity, the better. Link up with ladies who are enjoying a huge net profit. Last year, Danny's hard drive made almost $3 million. It's Women of the Net. This Sunday at 7 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. What did he say, Jean Claude, to you? What did he say? Well, uh, okay, after we were sitting there, I was talking to Mickey for a while. Right. Jean Claude was having uh, He's uh, with the had a few girls around him, yeah. getting table dances and uh, everything else. Right. And, probably probably uh, wasn't even aroused. Yeah, we weren't talking too much. Right. And then he went up to go to John, I guess, and right. he came back. Uh, he sat down, a girl sat on his lap, and then somebody uh, leans over to me, one of the uh, bouncers there, Frankie. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know Frankie. Uh, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie calls him sure problems. I know him, yeah. Well, Frankie's a stand-up a, guy. a few Frankies, but Frankie's cool. Man. I know which Frankie you mean. Go ahead, yeah. But he's a stand-up guy, and he just right. couldn't see this guy sitting with me. Right. And yet talking bad about me. Right. So what, he, did, what did Jean-Claude say to Frankie <laughs> about Chuck Zito? In the men's room. In the men's room. In the men's room. I don't know. I don't even know how my name came up there. Right. But But he said you weren't a good guy or something. He said, uh, Frankie told me this guy's just talking bad about you. (laughs) And uh, I said, come on, you're joking me. Right. So he said, no. So he's talking bad about Chuck Zito. What did you do to him? Right. Nothing. Go ahead. I didn't do anything to him. Right. (laughs) So... um, See, I hear John Claude Van Damme saying bad stuff about me. I just leave because I'd be scared. You know what I mean? Because I know the guy knows karate, and I'm a big pussy. But go ahead, you're a real man. You go didn't ahead. even think about that, did you? Right. So, did you think about John Claude? You know his karate expertise. Well, I've trained in six different styles myself, so. Oh, you weren't worried. Okay. Yeah, you look a lot yeah. tougher than him. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so you, so you go so to Frankie says this guy was talking about me and. Uh, and all he so said was, say, I forget what they said in the paper. Do you remember the quote? Something like, he's not. Well, he says, I'm not from the heart. I have right, no heart. Right. He said, you had no heart. Right. So That's an insult, right? Yeah. Now, what does that well, mean? I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> so but you I don't asked, like it. I had to ask Jean-Claude what he meant by yeah, it. Yeah, you say you go, hey, Jean-Claude, what do you mean I have no heart? Yo, what do you mean by it? <laughs> yeah, right. And what, is, uh, and what did he say? Yeah, so... I pull up my chair next to Jean Claude. See, this whole thing happened in a chair. Oh, oh, that's great! He was sitting in a chair. I was sitting in a chair. <laughs> this is beautiful. We never so got he up. He pulls his chair next to Jean Claude. So there was yeah. a girl on his lap. I just asked her to uh, leave. You know, leave. Right. I want to talk to him, and she got up. And Jean Claude must have been pissed because he was enjoying the girl. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So he knew this. So I be- just asked him. I said, Jean Claude, did you just say something about me in the bathroom, or out by the men's room, or whatever? Right. And he says, uh, it's stepped back. You know, on a chair, he put a plaque, he took his glasses off, <laughs> he folded them up, yeah. and he put them in his pocket. Right. So I'm saying to myself, Uh-oh. I think this guy wants to fight me. Right. This is good. <laughs> or he's taking it off for a reason. Yeah. So then he says, yeah, I said something. I said, well, what'd you say? I said, did you say I have no heart? I'm not from the heart. Hey, no he one goes, says that to the head of Hell's <laughs> Angels. Yeah, goes, go ahead. Yes, I said that. <laughs> so I'm still trying to be sincere. I said, right. why'd you say that? And then he just gets right in my face and he says, because you're full of shit. Oh. Right, well, oh, let me believe that. Because uh, you can't say the SH oh, word. Right, okay. right, so let me, let me say what you just said. So Jean-Claude, yeah. you say, hey, Jean-Claude, why? 
Exactly. Why do you say I have no heart? And he says, because you're full of the S-H word. S, yeah. S-H, S-H word, S-H word. Right. Oh, yeah. Can't say that on radio. So well, that's I, a I, clear I, insult. I recognize yeah. that as an insult. Yeah. Yeah. John Claude says, Chuck Zito's <laughs> full of S-H. It's going to be a fight. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't know what from the, not from the heart meant, but I knew I know that you were full of S-H as an so insult. So, Chuck, so Chuck uh, did, did he say it in that dumb accent of his? Oh, yeah. He know. did? Yeah, yeah I can't know. straighten that out. You have the hip, and you are full of is. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, right? Okay, so, so I, for my a head. second, I was like shocked and stunned. I just stepped back and I said, "This guy must be nuts." Did he just say that to me? Right. So I asked him again, and uh, this time I just grabbed his hand. You know, be sincere, and I said, "Jean Claude, did you just say I was full of the S word?" The S word. Yeah. And he stepped in my face, nose to nose, and he says, "Yeah." Wow! Wow! You're full of. You're full of S. S. Effin. Three times. Effin. Effin. Three times he yeah. insults you. Yeah. Oh. So I said, cool, man. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you with said, that, hey, let's take it outside. With that. No, I figured, why go outside? Why waste time? <laughs> why waste <laughs> what did he mean by all this? Yeah, so the next thing I knew, he moved. I moved. And I hit him with right hand, and left hook, and he went down. And <laughs> so you didn't bitch slap him. Punches no, off. you see, this is what I'm here to clear it today. Good, I heard right. so many stories that... And so many versions of it. Was Jean Claude? Well, let me versions. ask you my question: Did Jean Claude try to clear out like a dojo so he could fight? Like he was so busy, like trying to like get into a karate stance, and you just popped him? I was going to let him clear out. Right, use his legs. That's for sure. Yeah, he was good, right because he's good with his legs. No, he's very good with his legs. I'm not going to take anything from him. These karate guys, though, they, yeah. they they take they need to clear a space with their legs. So you just you pop gotta them. have room to get your leg up there. But uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, I've heard so many versions, and I I haven't done any any kind of shows or anything. You were the only one. Thank you, because I think you're cool. And, Thanks, Chuck. Uh, Same here. Uh, 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 you're from the heart. And you tell it like it is. Hey, and you're not full of s. I'm going <laughs> to tell you that right okay. now, man. He was doing a defensive karate move. (laughs) (laughs) There's always something. Nothing gets by an Oric. So, Chuck, so you you made sure three times. So then you popped him with a right, and then you smashed him with a left. Right hand, left hook. Oh, with that him in the chair, we're flying over. He went flying over the chair. He went flying over the chair. Was there any blood? Uh, you know what? It's pretty dark in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> a little bit. You break my knees. There's so many versions I've heard anywhere from. You know, I bitch slapped him like you said. That would have been fun. And uh, that I knocked him out one shot. That, Two shots it took. That uh, I hit that he was he in the fetal looking. position. Was he in the fetal <laughs> position? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not going to uh, come on, say come on, man. I'm sorry about any fighter being a fighter myself, and I right. don't want to say anything bad, especially when I'm not here to defend himself. Was he out cold though? But no, no, not at all. Really, I figured two shots from you, you'd be no, out cold. No. So he could take a punch. Yeah, he can. He can take a punch. But he does go down. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's a sissy. He's a sissy. Right. Is he a sissy? Like I said, I've heard everything from I hit him when he wasn't looking, that I sucker punched him. No, you, he knew that he was coming. That Oh, well, he showed me. Right. That he was that ready. He, was he ready. took off the glasses and he was oh, ready. Yeah. That's a sign to me saying, hey, this guy wants to get it on. Did he crap his pants? Well, I don't know. I didn't check. <laughs> Did you smell anything? No, no, no. <laughs> no. And now afterwards, what happens after you, you know, give him the one-two? Well, I gave him a few more. Oh, you did? Did you, would you kick him a couple of times? No, no, no. No, that would have been cool. I like when you just stomp on his head. Uh, you should have just like... Uh, Wait, did you get but, down to his level or was he well, coming up? I'm a bit he of a... He was trying to get up. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I wouldn't let him. Oh. Uh, really? Uh, What'd you do? Like, did you push him down on the floor? Well, actually, I hit him right on the top of the head and hit my hand. Hit really? My head, yeah. how's, wow. your, how's, your, uh, how's your hand, all right now? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? You hurt your hand when you smack him on top of the head? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I always say don't hit someone on top of the head. Right. They you always tell hit you. anybody at all, but if it happens, don't hit them on top of the head. <laughs> <laughs> so every time you try to get up, you just smack them in the head. So, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So Imagine you smacking a big karate star yeah, in the top of the head. Back down there, <laughs> yeah, that's the star. best. <laughs> what was Mickey Rourke doing during this? Well, he was trying, the you know, he, what happened with Mickey was on the side. He didn't even see us initially. He yeah, was right. talking to someone else on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you don't even notice. He, he just saw me going... Uh, you know, getting a little excited there. That's how scores is, you know. I mean, you're so busy yeah, with chicks and it's dark and you're eating that's yeah. happening. and you're partying and you're drinking that you, you don't even you miss a good <laughs> right fight. Next to you, and the place is packed. That's one thing I couldn't, you know, I didn't wow. realize once I got up and saw everybody. Wow. <laughs> you know, with so how many times looking. did you hit him? 
<laughs> no, I didn't really count, Robert. Your best I mean, story. I, I hit him enough to go down and stay there. Uh, I love this. Um, um, Jean Claude is not here to speak for himself, but I do have it on uh, on a good source that Jean Claude has done only one interview regarding this whole incident. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was in Europe. Yeah, and Jean he ran Cla- out of the country. And Jean Claude <laughs> claims, yeah, that he was doing a defensive karate move <laughs> and slipped. <laughs> and slipped. That's, that's oh. He's looking like a big pussy. <laughs> Chuck Zito ought to be doing movies. I love that. Yeah. Hey, Chuck, seriously, man, you ought to. You, you, I oh. mean, you kick his ass. You deserve a, a chance at one of these karate movies. Good looking guy, you could well, handle wait a minute, yourself now, in there. After John Claude, you finally stopped hitting him. Well, uh, I had no choice. I mean, people would grab me, the bouncers oh, would grab me. Okay. And, right. You would have kept Mickey on. Mickey was grabbing me. And, oh, okay. Right. Uh, no, you, you were pissed. What? At that time, your adrenaline is flowing so fast, you don't. Yeah, I was pissed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know what you so, mean. Uh, they finally calmed me down, and then he got up. and Each. Now, how long did it take him to get up? I don't know. People were just pulling me off. Right, you don't even know after that. And, and uh, he finally got up. Uh, was he shook up? Uh, was he saying stuff afterwards or he kept his stupid mouth shut? Well, I heard once they got him outside, he was talking. Oh, you know, and again, he's talking. Oh, outside, he's he talking. Everything else. <laughs> yeah. Somebody says, look, the best thing to do is go back to the hotel. And, yeah, you go, go, go sleep it off. So, but he, you know, that's why I said I'm here to say, to, uh, uh, to clarify things. And because... Uh, mm. uh, Wow. I was hoping it would go away. It's not going away. No, it's beautiful. First of all, number one, you kicked Jean Claude Van Damme's ass, who's passing himself off as some kind of karate expert. I'm more of a karate expert. <laughs> you know, I'm a brown belt in Shotokan. You are. Oh yeah. All right. You know Shotokan? There's a little uh... one punch I could take you. Yeah, I had to see what you can do. Get out there. Yeah, come, yeah. come out here, man. Let me let me, <laughs> let me get into it with you. <laughs> let me see if I kick your ass. So. Yeah, Joe, go ahead. You're on with Chuck Zito, the guy who kicked Jean Claude Van Damme's ass the other night. Chucky, yo! I heard that uh, you were gonna possibly take up uh, championship fighting, the Ultimate Fighting. Is that right? You're thinking of doing Ultimate well, Fighting Championship? I, 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 you know what? Speaking about that, I was at one time, and Jean Claude talked me out of it to do movies. Really? Really? Yeah. You mean uh, you were in some of those movies with him? With Jean Claude? I, I was in a movie called No Way to Run with him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and wh- what's the story? You are the head of the Hell's Angels. I'm a Hell's Angel. No kidding. I'm, yeah, I'm a member of the Hell's Angels. I'm thinking of entering that group. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been a Hell's Angel? Uh, 19 years now. Hmm. You think I need to be- learn how to ride a bike if I'm going to be in the Hell's Angels? Well, you have to have a motorcycle first. There's got to be a Harley Davidson. Oh, uh, really? Oh, yeah. Jesus, I don't know if I can That's swing two, that. That's two strikes. You've yeah. got to have a Harley I could hurt Davis. myself. And yeah. you got to ride it, Howard. I do have the boots, though, <laughs> for it. <laughs> I got the... Hey, what's a, um, what was I going to ask you about the Hell's Angels? What's a... Uh, Red Wing. Yeah, Red Wing. Is that... Is that? Do you have your red? Don't wings? you get patches if uh, you're in the Hell's Angels? Oh, the Boy Scouts? Well, you, you get well, no, hardly. But you get some. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot. You better of show respect, Robin, because we'll both come over there and kick your ass. <laughs> Seriously, girl or no girl? There's a lot of pins. Uh, oh yeah. What, do, what does it mean when you get your red wings? Is that? Oh, I don't know. You, you really? I don't have that. So yeah. I don't you don't know. have that? Oh, Chuck, come what on. What does that mean? I'm serious. Come on. You're What's asking it? me, so you must know what it means. No, I swear <laughs> I don't. Gorilla okay. told me something. Asked right. that. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> there's, like a, there's something called a filthy few patch and red wings a patch. A filthy what? A filthy few patch. Yeah, what's that? What's what that? is that? You don't know? <laughs> I don't know. He knows all What this kind stuff. of patches you got? I don't have any patches on my, my, really? my jacket. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just have my 5, 10, and 15-year pin and soon to get my 20. Really? Right. Yeah. Chuck, you going to Sturgis this year? Am I going to Sturgis? What is Sturgis? Uh, I mean, I mean, I know what Sturgis is, but tell the rest of the audience. <laughs> yeah, the club always goes to Sturgis. It's a big motorcycle big rally. Big rally. Of course, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> but we try and make all the runs, the big runs. Gorilla says he's friends with Chuck Zito. I'm not friends with him. I've met him before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did had, you say we, you had a meal with him? Yeah, we had lunch. Really? Did right. he kick your ass? No, he, he just didn't know. He, I wasn't. I was a fly on the table. <laughs> You're a fly on the table wherever you go. That's true. You have no heart. None. Oh. Having well, sex I'm with sure. a woman? Doing something to a woman during a certain time of the month. During the period? Yeah. Oh, I got that. Jackie Martling's two dirty joke CDs and his joke button CD-ROM for Windows are each only $12 plus $4 U.S. shipping. Also on cassette, buy two, get one free. Call 1-800-323-KING. That's 1-800-323-KING. 
He was a gifted comedian who found fame and fortune in a magical playhouse. For me to know and you to find out. But when Pee Wee Herman found success, Paul Rubens lost his own identity. When he did anything, it was always as Pee Wee. Pee Wee's dark and complicated, Paul is dark and complicated. Ultimately, a shocking sex scandal would expose the real man behind the character. The entire public was feeding on the arrest of Pee Wee Herman, and it was full of explicit detail. Pee Wee Herman, this Sunday at 8 Eastern and Pacific on the E! True Hollywood Story. Drop that remote. What, 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 what are you going to say? Well, I would say, um, I don't know what the Filthy Few patch is, but I think um, the Red Wing patch is... I has, really don't know what that is. has something to do with... Uh, Oh, you know what it Do, is. No, Having well, sex I'm with sure, a woman? Doing something to a woman during a certain time of the month. During the period? Yeah. Oh, I got that. Now, no, 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 but not sex. You deserved oh, yeah, I know. Uh, well, okay. it's, uh, yeah. it is sex. Okay. It's but it's not intercourse. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have that patch, by the way. It, Seriously, it, I've done that. Howard? I look like, uh, I look like Santa Claus. Oh, oh, what's the name said that's not sex? Know. Right. It's, it isn't sex. Right. Says that Any oral sex is not right. sex, right. guys. <laughs> what? Grillo's like, I got to tell you, he's like hot for Chuck. I mean, he's... Yeah, well, Grillo wants to be a Hells Angel. I know. Him. Office, he's telling me, you know, everybody respects Chuck. All the celebrities come out. Tell him what happened with Jack Nicholson last night. Like, oh, Jack Nicholson, like, what? I, I, I respect... I, I, because I, Chuck will kick his ass. Uh, of course. Right? Where was no, Grillo I, I, last I'm, night? I'm out a lot, and I was yeah. at the China Club, and I'm out a lot, and I always see Chuck around, and Chuck just stands there, and people just always come to him. Like, Jack Nicholson last night came to him to say... Of course. Lot. You know, Jack like, Nicholson's Jack a big Nicholson pussy. Jack Nicholson doesn't want to get his ass kicked. Yeah. Nah, Jack I, I, I'll kick Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I happen to know Jack. In fact, Jack, one of his first movies was Hell's Angels on Wheels in 1967. Really? Hey, Chuck, so. so when Jack Nicholson says, hey, I'd like to see Chuck Zito, you stand there and wait for Jack to come <laughs> to you, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, friends, that makes Jack. you feel good, right? He's a great guy and a great actor. He is a great, great actor. person. Yeah. So. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, yes. I was wondering, have you ever met the white rapper? Get out of here, oh, you idiot. God. Chuck doesn't want you. <laughs> Don't ask. Yeah, so uh, who else you know? Stallone, right? You hang out with him? Well, we don't hang out. I used to, uh, I was his bodyguard at one time on, no on a show, uh, uh, a movie he was doing. No kidding. Saturday Night uh, Fever? No, it wasn't no. Saturday what Night. did he do? Staying Alive. I'm Staying sorry. Alive? Yes, yeah. he directed. That was first. Uh, did you have to kick some ass for people who, uh, like, were bothering him and stuff? No, no. Never? Mostly with the, with the uh, celebrities, it's crowd control. Nobody really wants to hurt anybody. Hurt anybody. It's, yeah. you know, it's something with John Lennon was a freaky thing. and Right. But uh, mostly well, it's just pe stop people from grabbing them or taking something from them. Or well, congratulations on beating John claude Van Damme's ass, man. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a good time. All right, yeah. All right. Uh, I'll see you around the school, hey. probably. Take care. No problem. You. Do you have any more of those uh, how's it, the stickers? Stickers? You gave me a sticker when we were in L.A., the Hells Angels stickers. No, I don't. I don't uh, me. All right, no problem. No. Cool. Yeah.